guys, how you doing? Today is Thursday, January 22nd. How you doing? Um, I'm just going to do a quick video today on my cameras, but I have a gentleman wandering around the outside of my house. He was just up on my roof. We're getting the house painted um, and the roof painted because our roofs, you know how we have the white roofs, they're limestone, so what they do every couple of years is they have to go up and bleach them and then they um, wash them and, yeah, wash them and bleach them and then repaint them. So he's doing a quote. So he's outside somewhere. I don't know. I saw him wandering around. Um, so I might get interrupted. I don't know. Anyway, Kathy emailed me. Hello, Kathy. And she said, I'm looking to get a new camera. Can you tell me how you like the new camera for vlogging and what camcorder do you use? The camcorder I use all the time is the one that I'm filming on right now. It's the Sony Handycam and it's the um, HDR CX210 and I really like it. It's my favorite camera. Um, I had one similar to it a couple of years ago and it broke. Um, the viewfinder on the camera, like you can look at the screen and you can tilt it any which way. I think the wires in there separated eventually, so I try to be very cautious with this one. This camera actually feels a little bit lighter than the original one I had, but that's lighter is fine, but it just felt a little more plasticky than the first one I had. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about my other cameras and then I'll come back to this one and film with my new camera and then I can show you the Handycam one. Um, the camera that I got for Christmas is this one. It's the Nikon Coolpix P600 and it takes gorgeous pictures. Love it. Um, there was a couple pictures of, in my Christmas video, there was the girls down on the wharf. Um, it was in Fisherman's Cove. Those were taken with this camera. Um, there's a picture that I took with the, of the moon on, I think it was December 27th. I only know that because I think the date's on the picture. Um, and uh, I stood on Dad's patio and I just looked at the moon. It was like a, um, a quarter moon, half moon, half moon. I don't I have no idea. <laughs> I think it was a half moon. And I zoomed in and you can see the craters on the moon. It's insane. So I'll insert a couple photos um, of the pictures of the moon that I took. So that's insane. Um, hello, you can see the craters on the moon. So this is the camera here. This is the bag that I bought. I got it at Target. Nice, cute little bag. It is Manfrotto. M-A-N-F-R-O-T-T-O. -T -T I think it's Italian. I don't know. I got it for Target at Target for like $39 or whatever. Um, fits the camera nice and snug. In like that. And there's a spot in the front where I can keep the charger for the camera. And there's a little Velcro little pouch thing that you can keep some stuff. And you can move that um, around in the bag. It just kind of comes out like that. And you can adjust it. But that was the whole thing. I just wanted compact, um, a compact camera and a compact bag. This is the camera here. It's really cute, very light. And we've had Nikon before, and this is the Nikon we've had. And this is, <laughs> this was to replace this. This is a beautiful camera. I love it. It's just so darn heavy. You can see the size difference. And this is, this sort of feels plasticky compared to this, this feels like iron. Um, this one here is the Nikon D80 and we bought this in 2008. We got a serious zoom going on here. Not, I mean, it's not a huge zoom compared to some cameras, but it's, it goes from 18 to 200. The reason we did that was because I didn't want to be switching lenses all the time. Um, especially when the kids were younger and you're at Disney and you're just trying to capture stuff. Um, so it had the little lens cap. What I hated about this was that it was loose. My new camera, it has a little string attached to it so you don't lose it. And right before I went to film this, I couldn't find the lens cap. It was down in the camera bag. This is the bag I use for this one. I got this second hand for $5 here on the island. It's a Tamrac and uh, it just, the camera goes down in the bag like that. Just a good um, little size. And what I also liked about it was it had this little pocket on the front and I would put just one of the smaller clicky cameras um, that we have. We have a couple little Samsung um, clicky cameras. Um, the thing we did with this is we bought this lens cover, um, which was a great idea. It's a lens, but it's, see, it's like scratched and dirty and it protects the very expensive lens that you have on your camera. 
This camera cost us, I want to say $1,200. I, can't, I think it was something like that. I just know it was a stupid amount of money, but we had never had a good camera. Um, that little lens cover thing is Quanta Ray, Q U A N T A R A Y, and it's a digital UV 72 millimeters. So you just get it to go over the ed uh, edge of your camera, the end of your lens, I mean. Um, so the camera here, oh, <laughs> things off. You do have to look through the viewfinder with this camera. The other thing we have is this little plastic thing that goes over your screen so that doesn't get um, scratched. And the thing with this is you have to look through the viewfinder um, to take your picture and then it'll show up on the back here. My battery's dying in this. <laughs> I have battery issues all the time. So the battery's dying. But anyway, you have to look through here and then your image will pop up on here for a few seconds. Um, and then you can hit the you know play button and go through your photos. Now, great camera, takes beautiful pictures but it doesn't have any video capabilities. So I was always carrying this and my video camera with me. Also, the charger for this, there's a big battery that goes in the bottom. There's the battery there. It's a Nikon Li-Ion battery pack. And then this is your charger that comes with it. So you just put the battery in there and then you just have to plug it into the wall. And there you go. So that's where the battery goes. And then in the side is where you have your um, memory card and it just takes a little sand disk. So this was a good camera. I love it. I mean, I'm not getting rid of it. It's still a really good camera, but it was just so heavy. So introducing the new one. So this one here has a little lens cap, which dangles. I love it. It's so light. Now what I'm going to do is I brought out my Weight Watchers food scale and I'm going to weigh the camera just to show you um, the difference here. So I'm going to do this in pounds. So the Beast weighed two pounds, 14 and a half ounces. So, mongasika. Okay, and then this new little one is <clears throat> one pound, uh, 4.7 ounces. So quite the difference um, with the camera. Like I said, this has a 60 zoom, and what I did yesterday was I went outside um, and I filmed, I record, you can record on this, which is great, um, and I recorded the zoom and what the zoom is like, so I'll insert that just so you can see, because it's crazy zoom um, on this camera. You can see a house over there, and I'm just trying to keep this, it is on my tripod, but I don't know if there's a breeze or what's happening right now. All right, so I'm just gonna zoom out and you can see how far away that house actually is. So that's pretty crazy. <laughs> just see if I can zoom in again. You can zoom in so far and then it'll go blurry. So if I push it to here, it'll stop. Now that's at about the 60 zoom and you just push the button as if you're going to take a picture and I'll take a picture, see if I can do that. So there you go. So the nice thing about this is, here let me just turn it on. Now the only thing with that, okay let me show you. Turn it off again. I'll just show you from the time I turn it on to the time the camera actually comes on. It's a little slow. I'm going to turn this on. So it's a little slow to react. Um, that's the only thing that drives me crazy and Annette and Dad have said the same thing. This one here, you just switch the button on, ready to go, snap the picture. So that feature drives me a little crazy. I haven't played with all the features of the camera. You do have the screen on the back that you can look through or you just push this button up here and you look through the viewfinder if you want. So you just switch back and forth um, from one button to the next. This little screen will pop out so if I am filming I can see what I'm doing. You can flip it around and then close it. Or if you're, you know, using it, you can have it like this. Dad says the nice thing is, you know, you can have it like this and if you're in a crowd and you have to put your camera up high um, over top of people, 
which I assume is gonna, <laughs> gonna be what I'm uh, gonna have to do at the uh, One Direction concert because we're not tall people. Um, so yeah, so it takes really good pictures. The video is a little not as good as this one I don't find, um, but it's more of a camera. It's not, I don't think of it as a video camera, um, but it is nice that it has that feature so that if you are somewhere and you do want to catch um, a quick video, you can. The zoom on this, it goes like that, and that's the 60 zoom. This one here, <laughs> it's like the baby of the beast. So you can see why this one was such a big camera to take around. The only thing I forgot to do was take some pictures um, outside with that one. So I will do that and I'll insert um, a picture of how far I could um, uh, get a shot of that same house that we looked at. So I'll insert that here. Um, so yeah, so overall I like it. Um, what's nice about it is that there are scene options on here. You can go to, um, it does portrait, sports, party, indoors, um, a beach, snow, sunset, dusk and dawn, close-ups, food, museum, fireworks, black and white, um, and you can adjust the backlighting. There's a pet portrait. I assume that's because they're moving around. The moon, oh, there's a moon feature. I don't even think I used the moon feature um, that night. I think I just used outside in the dark um, feature. And then there's bird watching. So there's still so much I haven't read about this. It does have Wi-Fi, so you can, I guess, email the photos to somebody. I have no idea, I haven't played with that yet. Um, so there are quite a few features on here, but I just got this at Christmas and I haven't really taken the time to play with it yet and I'm not one to read instructions. So there you go. Now the charger for this is, which one, this one. So it comes with a little charger and it just plugs into the side of the camera over here. So it just has the little charging port there. And this thing here just flips out, you plug it into the wall and it has a USB attachment. So you can plug this into the camera and then charge it into the wall or plug it right into the computer. Um, so this is just nice and small, nice little charger. It fits in the front of the bag. Um, and the memory card goes down in here, down in the bottom. And then your battery looks like that. It's like a funny little Nikon battery. Um, things like this part of the camera, like I just find that sort of flimsy. Uh, this camera would have been about $3.99 in Canada. Um, so it's a good price for, for a good quality camera. It takes really nice shots. Dad and Annette are very into um, photography and great pictures and oh my god that would be a great picture and, and they take really good shots. Um, so I just need some practice with this. And, um, but I, I love it. I like the size of it. And yeah, so what I'm going to do now is switch it out for the video camera and I'm going to videotape, um, on this one. And then I can talk to you about, uh, this one. All right, hang on. Okay. So we're now recording on this new one. I've got it zoomed in because if you zoom out, you can see quite a bit more of the room. Um, it has a wider angle lens I guess it is on there. I just find it's not as crisp as this one. Um, so this one is the Sony HD or CX210 and I really like it. This is the giant battery that I bought at Christmas. Um, I have not charged this battery since Christmas and I still have 19 minutes on it. Um, when I first plugged it in, I first charged it and I probably started using it December 23rd and it said 11 hours. Um, I mean the battery life will go down depending on how much you zoom in and out. So the screen does this, it flips like this, it goes back against that. But like I said, it's usually the wires in this part that go on it. Um, it does have uh, eight gigs, uh, eight gigabytes of memory on it, but there is a little spot in here and you lift it up and you can put your memory card. I have a 16 gig, it's a little sand disc. Um, memory card in there. So you can switch back and forth. It is a touch screen, which I was thinking the Nikon camera was. 
um, the cool picks, but it's not. So this one is touchscreen. You can go through. You can go through all you meant all your menus and go through edit, delete the whole thing. Um, so I'm just so used to using this one, and that's why I kind of panicked about a week ago when it wasn't working. Um, the battery on it. This is the great big one. The one that comes with it is this little baby one. And this is why I was always complaining because I think it only gives you about an hour and a half of battery life. So the camera with this battery, the little battery, I'll just weigh this. It's like, it's a joke. It's so light. 7.7 7 .7 ounces. So it doesn't even weigh a pound. But then when you put the big battery on there, the big battery weighs 5.1 ounces on its own. So the camera with the bigger battery it's still only 11.3 ounces, so um, not that big a deal. It does look a little ridiculous. The kids were making fun of me when I first <laughs> put the battery on there. Um, but with the little one, it's just really light. I've thrown this in my pocket before, which is probably not a good thing. I should probably be using um, the, um, like a bag <laughs> for it, but I don't. Um, it has a 30 time uh, extended zoom on it. Okay, so I have the Sony Handycam on the same tripod, which is in the same position. This one has a 30 zoom, so we're just going to try to zoom into that same house. And that's about as far as I can go. That is as far as I can go. Um, again, I can take a picture. Alright, so I just took a photo, and then we're going to zoom back out. So it's still a pretty good zoom when you see how far away that house is, but you can see the difference with the other um, camera. And now we've got a visitor. Hello, Peach. Hello, Peachy. You, it's, um, what's it say here? There's steady shot with this. There's 5.3 megapixels, still image recording. Um, so I just find the quality of this is really good. There is a mode on there at the top where you can switch it to a camera. And like I said, I use this in um, Boston for all our photos in Boston. Now the charger that comes with this is this one here, lots of cords, but all it is is the cord to plug into the wall and there is a cord um, to plug in underneath the camera to charge it. The other thing that comes with this, which is great, I love it, um, is this little cord. This plugs into the back of your computer, and then there's this little hub. So I leave this plugged in all the time. So this is in the computer. I leave about this much sticking out onto the desktop. And what this has is in the handle is the little USB connection there. So it just goes into the hub, and that's how I download um, my movies onto the computer. So it's so easy. It's just right there. No other cords needed, and you just plug it in, and it fits in. I was really nervous about that. Um, when I first got the camera, I thought, oh, that's weird that the cord's in the handle. I absolutely love it. Um, great feature for it. And it's just nice and light and fun. Now, the battery that I bought for it, this big one, it says BM Premium, and it's an NP-FV100 lithium ion battery. It says compatible with Sony. So there you go there. That's the other thing with this camera. It's the blurriness and the adjustment for the blurriness kind of drives me crazy. Um, I had to talk to dad about it too, about the cool pics, because I was trying to do a close up picture of a flower in the garden yesterday and I'm trying to get the focus to figure itself out. Again, there might be some things, some buttons and stuff I have to tweak on that still. Um, but uh, anyway, so this is a 7.2 volt battery. Um, and then it came with, so this is the charger that it came with. And it has the thing to plug into the wall. It has a cigarette lighter attached to it, if you, if you need that. Um, and then the battery just goes into the thing like that. And you can charge it in the wall. My other battery fits on it as well, the one that came with the camera, which is good like that, so that fits on there, and um, what else was I going to tell you? Oh, I got under train of thought. Uh, something about this. The battery plugs into that, and I told you about this. What was the other thing? I oh, <laughs> it's in the box. 
it comes with this, um, the conversion thing for Europe goes on like that. So you just put it on the actual plug that's already on there. So there you go. So those are my cameras. I hope that answered your question, Kathy. So really, if it came down to it, if I was vlogging, I would do the Sony Handycam. I just like it. My kids make fun of me. They're like, I think you're the last person on earth with a, <laughs> with a video camera. Um, I don't have a proper phone. So yeah. Um, I just kind of throw that back in their faces when they make fun of me. Um, I don't have a real phone, so I'd probably videotape on my phone. No, I wouldn't. Who am I kidding? Um, I just, I love this. I just, I know how to work it. It works really well. Um, it's just a nice size. It's nice and light. I don't have to really worry about it. It's got the little closure thing for the lens. It's just small and compact and I throw it in my purse. The as for cameras, I love Nikon. I really love it. Um, and based on the picture of the moon alone um, is why I love this new camera. So really cool. I just need to play with it more. Um, I just got it uh, for Christmas. So haven't had much time to play. But anyway, before I leave, I just want to show you a postcard that I got. This is from Helen. Helen had sent me the Christmas card um, the turquoise one with the silver ornaments on it that she had made. And she was the one that was going to Florida to meet up with her daughter and son-in-law who live in the Cayman Islands. And this is where they stayed. It's Innisbrook uh, Resort in Florida. And it says, Innisbrook has the perfect foursome of championship courses, including Copperhead, home of the PGA Tours Transitions Championship, and the island, which is the home of the Legends Tour Open Championship. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm pretty sure there's gators in that water. We used to golf at um, Disney all the time. It was part of our annual passes. And we used to golf at the Disney parks, and there was gators there all the time. A uh, little creepy. And turkeys. There was giant turkeys that ran around the golf course. Really strange. Uh, she sent this on the 5th of January. She put a little note there. Um, I got this, I think, Tuesday of this week. Today's Thursday. I think I got it Monday or Tuesday. Um, so that's pretty quick for here. But anyway, thank you so much, Helen, for sending me that. Um, so the only other thing I've been doing around here this week is my cross stitch. I showed you Sunday that I was going to start my February cottage. There it is so far. I've got February written out. I just have to do the top part and I'm done. So it's going really quick. Um, people had asked me about these cottages uh, when I did that video. So I'll just show it to you again on here. Here's the, this is going to be March. Um, this is the next one. <clears throat> They're so cute. I should just show them to you. Do you want me to show them to you? I'll just do it right quick. Okay, so January, you saw January, had the little snowman. There's the January, February, I just showed you. Oh, I got a guy outside. He's giving me a quote for the house for being painted. Okay, the guy's outside walking around. All right, so here is March and April and May and June. He's right outside my window. And July and August and September. And October, he's wondering what I'm doing, and November, <laughs> and December. So they're really cute, so check those out. They're on 123 Stitch. I think they're like $5.95 a pattern, um, which adds up, but I just thought they were so cute, and you could always just order one at a time. Oh, and there's the January one. So uh, there you go. Um, so that's what I've been working on right now. I'm going out to Dockyard today to work on Dragon Boats. We were working on those last week. They're so fun to make. To I totally screwed mine up at the very end. I went to um, put the string to hold it, and I pulled it up through the Dragon Boat thing, and as I, I screwed up and I pulled it out, and it started to unwind. <laughs> so I was a little stressed out. So i got to finish that off today, and I think I'm going to make a new one while I'm out there. Um, so that's what's going on, and I am so psyched to do Project Life. I've been watching some videos. I'm all set to do it. My photos are up in these boxes right here, and my Project Life, so I'm really hoping to work on that tomorrow. The other thing I also have to do is um, I just got my paper yesterday, and I have ink for the printer, so I'm going to get my Valentine cards up, and um, I'll do the card in the box one. I'll show that one to you hopefully tomorrow. Um, and get that up and hopefully get a couple more cards up in my shop on Etsy 
and um, like just the embellishments. And so there you go. So I hope that helped, Kathy. Um, I hope that answered your questions. And um, there you go. So I hope you guys are having a good week. And I'll be back with some more videos soon. All right. Take care, guys. See ya.